Well, this month we're talking about a war. A war between two retail giants. We're talking about Walmart versus Amazon. And we have Linda back with us. Hi, Linda. Hi, Brandon. Linda, what do you think about this war between Amazon and Walmart? Well, they're two giant companies. And I mean, everyone knows them and people shop on them a lot. I mean, I love going to Walmart when I'm back in the States, mm -hmm. but I don't really shop on Amazon that much. All right. Well, that leads me to my next question. Do you prefer making purchases online or in person, like in a physical store? I prefer in person. I like going to the store. I like feeling the clothes or, you know, touching whatever I'm going to buy mm -hmm. and seeing it for myself, maybe trying it on and then purchasing it. When I see it online, like I'm not sure if it's really going to fit. And right. then if I have to return it, then it's too much trouble. So I like, yeah, touching and feeling. The but what about items day. that aren't clothes? Because I'm the same way. I like to try things on, but there are many other items that you can just buy online. You don't need to try it on. Yeah, it's really convenient, you know, for mm -hmm. things that you don't need to try on. You can just, you know, just with a click of a button, you can yes. purchase it. But it can be very addictive. So mm. maybe that's a reason why I haven't shopped on Amazon that much. Yes. Because, yeah, you just get into a, a habit of just like buying everything online. And That's then true. More than you need. This <laughs> happened just a couple of days ago. My wife ordered something on Uber Eats, a, a local grocery store, and it was at our doorstep within like 20 minutes. And like, oh, that's great, but will we, will we be addicted to it? Yes. That's the question. Addicted right? to the convenience. <laughs> and you do get addicted because it's just so convenient, you know? Why, you know, get dressed, go outside, get in your car and go to the store when you can just like get something delivered to your house. All right. Well, what about consumers? What do you think they stand to benefit from this competition between these two retail giants, Walmart and Amazon? Well, when there's competition, I mean, that's always good for the consumer, the buyer, because then prices will go down mm -hmm. and, you know, we all love better prices and cheaper things. But I tend to think about the workers because like there's more competition and so you have to provide better services and this in this case faster services. Mm. So that puts a lot of pressure on the personnel, on the people, you know, getting those things out. Before I never thought about like how things the whole process of from when you click that button to how it gets to your house. Mm. And there's a lot involved. And there are actual people who go get that stuff and you know have to get it to its destination. Right, so on one hand, that's good, right? Because it provides jobs, but if it's too much, then that could, you know, not be good for individual workers. Right, it's working too much conditions. Pressure when the working mm -hmm. conditions, right? And Amazon's gotten a bad rap about mm. the working conditions of their employees, mm -hmm. like in the warehouses. It's extremely stressful yeah. and really hard, physically hard on their mm -hmm. bodies. So, you know, I think about that stuff. And so in this area, it wouldn't be good. Good, but for the buyer, then it's good because, you know, you get cheaper prices. Absolutely. Well, there's a lot to discuss, so check out our article for all the details. Thank you for joining us for another segment of Insights, and thank you, Linda, for joining us as well. Welcome. We'll see you next time.